everybody, it's Lori Zaffrey with LA Thrift Junkie. I hope you're having a good day today. So I'm here with another haul. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari, and I'm a full-time reseller. So what I do is I go out and I find and buy clothes, and then I resell them for a profit. I live in a small area, and I'm very limited with the brands that I find. I don't find a lot of great brands. Sourcing is a little bit tricky, so you can order liquidations, and I have, but you don't ever know exactly what you're going to get. And you know, after doing this for five years, I built up a clientele that expects certain types of items from me. So when I get liquidations and stuff like that, and there's a lot of basics, I don't sell them well. I don't sell athleisure very well. So I go out and I find quirk, I find vintage. If I come across a great brand, of course I pick it up. But I'm going to show you today exactly what I've picked up to sell on these three platforms. i tell you where I got it, I'll tell you the size, and any information I feel is pertinent about it. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I got, I got at the Goodwill Benz. I picked it up because, you guys, who doesn't remember this from their childhood, right? Popsicles. Every time you get sick, every summer, it was a special treat. And this is so buttery soft. It is a junior size 15, 17, and it's equivalent to probably a large in adults. And it's that super soft fabric. You guys, all these items will also be up for grabs in my first dibs auction this coming Friday. So if you watch this right away, then these will either be up for sale on Poshmark if they didn't sell in the auction, or they're gonna go on the Posh shows. So this is super cute, you guys. This is, um, the brand name is, I need to put on my glasses, is Kaisley, which I do believe is Nordstrom. It's a size large. Let's take a peek real quick. I feel like this might be wool blend. Yes, yeah, so it's 30% wool and acrylic blend. Look at those dolman sleeves. I love this big cow neck with the drawstring tie, all the cable knit. It's just a really, really pretty piece. Perfect for the winter months. My husband found this little thing at the Goodwill bins. By the way, forgot to tell you, I got that at the bins as well. So he found this little purse and it's just got like some really big metallic details. It does have a little bit of an imprint there on the back, which I did not notice. Looks like something got a hold of it, doesn't it? I didn't notice or I may not have picked it up to be quite honest with you, but it's super cute, trendy little pocketbook. And the next thing I got, I got at the my regular Goodwill. I pick up scarves because I get them for like 50 cents. I thought this was a really pretty bohemian print scarf. Look at those beautiful jewel tone collars. It's lightweight infinity scarf and it'd be good for year-round use, but scarves are a little bit more popular when it's cold outside. Okay, I got this at the bins as well. I've sold these a couple of times. They're kind of like a fast fashion in my opinion. Um, it's called Ziana, I think it's called or Z, Z Nana. I'm not sure, but it's a size 3X. That's a hard size to like find super cute things and I thought it was very pretty, but it's very lightly padded so you'd almost have to wear a bra underneath this to wear it, to be honest, in my opinion. Okay, and it's just a little pretty, probably 50 cent pick out from the bins. Next item I also got at the bins. I don't pick this brand up a lot, but I thought it fit my Bohemian Spring. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up for sale now. If it doesn't sell by February, I'll pull it and put it back up again in May. But it's like a little vintage print. You see that crochet lace detail, the ruffle hem. It's just a super cute American Eagle top and a size medium. I got this at the bins, and I pick these up all the time. They're like little kimonos. This one's a vest, so it's sleeveless. It's very flowy. It's very pretty. It has this like lag and look style, you know, the waterfall hem front. Let me turn it around so you guys can see the print. It has a really pretty print on it. This did not have a name brand on it. However, I did look it up through the RN number. I forget what brand name it is. It's like a mall brand, but it is also a one size according to theirs. Oh, here we go. Is that George maybe? I forget what, what I figured out it was. It says it's one size, but I would say small to large. Here's another Ben's pickup. So I just thought it was super cute. It's Alfred Dunner. Alfred Dunner can sell on certain things, but I got this because of the Cottagecore Bohemian Vibes. 
I do a lot of like bohemian stuff during the summer. So a lot of cus I have a lot of customers built in for that style. This is a button cuff. It also is roll tab sleeve. It is vintage and it's a size 20 W long sleeve shirt. We have another Ben's Fine. I don't normally pick up Arrow unless the tops are super cute for a certain reason. First of all, it's in really good condition. It's super soft. That rose is actually like a patch embroidery on there, so that's why I decided to pick it up. The fact it was in great condition. It's called a Classic Crew, and it's a size extra large, which is also a great size. I picked this up because Veterans Day was Friday. I got this at the bins. It's probably like maybe 75 cents. It says these colors don't run. It was in very nice condition. It is soft. The brand name is uh, Celebrate Patriotic and it's a size extra large in a men's. Oh no, it's fighting with me, you guys. Okay. Also, another bins pickup. It's a sweatshirt. It's T, is it TLC, TC, I don't know. It says no scrubs on it. It says I pay my own bills. XOXO Cupcake Mafia. It is vintage. You guys, the story behind these ladies is really sad because uh, Hollywood took all their money that they worked for, all their fame. Okay, this is super cute. I got this at my local Goodwill. And I got it because it's like a really nice grandpa sweater, right? So it is a men's sweater. It's a boxy fit. Definitely could be worn by a woman. It's got this kind of like crooked plaid and the, you know, very typical holiday Christmas style collars. It's nice roomy sleeve. It's a crew neck. It's Liberty sweaters in a size extra large. And the next item I got at the bins. It is altered state. I got it because it was in good condition. I love the little lace details, the pleating, the lace around the V-neck. We have a casual, almost fitted but not tight sleeve. It kind of has a stone wash navy blue to it. So you see that stone wash, it's always good to put in your keywords. Another bins find. This is just a uh, faded glory, but it's vintage faded glory. And it's absolutely adorable. Look at those ruffles on the front. It's like an open front cardigan. You can see it's also open crochet knit. We have the ruffle on the uh, cuff as well, all the way along the hemline. And this really pretty army or olive green, whichever you guys like to put on there. This item caught my eye at the bins, and I got it because look at that. Is that not gorgeous? It's actually like from a dance costume, so it's super high quality. What that means is it doesn't have, nobody would ever know if you wear this, that it's a dance costume, but what it means is it's super stretchy so you can move around in it really well. It's a high quality, and then look at the back. So the back has like an open V. This would be so pretty on New Year's Eve, you guys. And it is a Bolera Dance, and it is a, let me see here, I feel like I had to do measurements for the size, so I don't think I have the size, but I would say probably a medium. Okay, the next item is also a Ben's Fine. Let me get it on the hanger a little bit better. Okay, so I got it. It is the name brand Style & Company, size large, which is Macy's. It is a lightweight jersey knit, I got it for this detail, those metal studs, and then it's also on the back as well. I just thought it was really nice, very flowy, lightweight, perfect to layer things with. I mean, all year round, really. You can wear that all year round. Another Ben's pickup, Sebi Collection. It's a size small. I pick up these fur vests. This one is like a rabbit fur soft, but it's not rabbit fur, no worries. It is faux fur. Kind of has that ostrich feather look to it, so it has that interest. These usually sell more in December and January if you guys pick them up. And I always use festival wear, Bohemian Lodge, things like that in the title. Another Ben's Fine, a good Ben's Fine, which I don't always get, but we have a maxi skirt, Free People. Is that not gorgeous? It's like a netted tool over the top of like a really nice cotton liner. We have the elastic waist. It is a size small and it's like this kind of like between a mauve and a lavender collar. I thought it was gorgeous. Okay, another Ben's fine. So this is Adriana Papel 
and it's a bandage dress. So you guys ever know, ever heard that? So they, like how you see how this looks, and it's very stretchy. That's called a bandage dress. It has like the drapey V-neck front. Again, very stretchy and comfortable. It has a zipper on the back. This would be perfect for like a wedding guest. It's a size 10 petite. But to be honest, when I've done the measurements and like putting it up against me, the waistline hits me perfectly and I'm 5'4", so I don't consider myself petite. Okay, this is another bin find. And this is like my bohemian summer thing. I just had to get it. So I love to pick up things that are whimsical. Um, this is like probably maybe had a slip dress underneath it. Perhaps it was a cover-up for a bathing suit. You could wear it like as a kimono jacket. Look at all those gorgeous flower details. It has like interesting sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see it really well, but it has sharp bite hem. It has the little pearl buttons on the front of it that kind of make it stand out. You guys, I just thought it was an adorable piece. It probably cost me 50 cents. And again, if I don't sell it during the cold months for people going on vacation, we'll pop it down in, in February and put it back up as new more along May. Okay, so I got this at the bins too. I always pick up robes there, you guys. If they're in good condition, if they have the belt. So you see this one has the belt. Isn't that called Chanel? It's not the soft Chanel. It's like the bathrobe, super absorbent style of fabric. Okay, and it's in this beautiful lime green. It's Victoria's Secret. It's one size, I would say up to a size extra large because I tried it on and that's what size I am. And it's in excellent condition. I found this one at my local Goodwill. It's a nice, super chunky knit sweater and this beautiful navy blue, super deep V, kind of like half sleeves that have a little bit of like, you know, interesting details because this is free people, you guys. Three people in a size large. Who thought, oh no, I'm probably wrong. Nope, in a size large. I don't know that I've seen a lot of different size tags besides small or extra small and free people, but it's super well made, crocheted, probably hand knit. We've got the uh, split here on the side. Hey, my light above. Okay, the next item is also a bin spine. Oops. And it is a nice plus size tan jacket so that is a shirt jacket it is like a micro corduroy it's brand new with tags the name brand is just up jeanswear and oh i'm sorry it's ula popkin it's ula popkin and it is a size i keep having to put my glasses on i should just leave them on and let them shine in the in the light 32 34 and it is a little bit darker on camera right there's probably true color Okay, and that's just perfect for fall and being brand new as well. Okay, I got this at my local Goodwill because I like to pick up vintage and retro. And I thought this pop of collar is just, I just love it. It's like 1950s, it's classic, it's preppy, it's retro. It's like grandma, grandpa sweater. I just thought that it was super cute. It's C.D. Daniels, 100% um, acrylic, and it's a size 3X, so also a great size. Or you could wear this oversized as well. Okay. Another piece that I got from my local Goodwill, it is logo Lori Goldstein, and I'm not even mad about it. So it's a size 3X. It is adorable. It's got snap buttons. Look at that, like, crochet detail. All this retro style print on it the sleeves have contrasting trim it's just a super super cute shirt jacket you guys almost like a blazer like a spring blazer really okay also picked this up at the goodwill bins it is Audi. this brand has such cute clothes o-d-d-y you guys look at up it has super cute plus size bohemian styles Look at all these ruffles. Those sleeves are precious. It says it's a size 3X, but it is not. It measures to maybe a 1X or extra large. It has such cute, cute details. Animal print and floral print, yes please. Okay, I picked this up at my local Goodwill. And I do look for these skirts. They need to be wool or they need to be a, sp a special collar if they're not real wool or vintage. But this one is Banana Republic, a really good quality. Size 10, it is a wool blend, hounds twos, I'd also put plaid in there even though that's not really plaid, hounds twos, tweed 
with a back zipper, really, really high quality. Banana Republic really nails their quality sometimes. A lot of times, actually, as long as it's not Banana Republic factory. You guys, I was so excited to find this. I need to find me a skinny mini. Excuse me, I got a hair on my face. A skinny mini. This is 25 inch weights. You guys, this is true 1970s vintage. The only thing I see with these is someone kind of hand done the trim on here. Like they like cropped them a little bit. But you know, someone that's probably this little might, you know, need a shorter inseam, so that's okay. You guys, they're pleather. Super cute, but as if that was not enough for you 1970s Charlie Angel lover, leisure suit, all the things, night, that 70s show, it comes with the matchy pleather jacket, you guys. The little round buttons. It's just a super cute set. Hopefully somebody will buy that and rock it. Okay, I got this at my regular Goodwill. It's where I normally buy my blazers. I don't find a lot of them at the bins. I love, love, love the color of this. So it is, I think it's a wool blend. Yes, wool blend. It does have a little bit of wear on it. You see that little bit of wear? But we don't even care because this is special. It's almost like made out of like a horse blanket style. I'll call this Southwestern, colorful, all those keywords. It is first option, it's vintage, and it is a size, hmm, Oh, size large, that's right. I remember from my photos. I had to get really close on it. Okay, I'm getting ready to do my Christmas show here in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna be putting up a lot of red and festive style sweaters. This one's Susan Graver. It's a size large, so it is actually open front, but has like one of those hook toggle things here at the top. Look at this fluffy, thick, round collar. It has nice, roomy sleeves. It's a longer sweater. Uh, not a ch I don't, not chunky knit, but it's not tight knit, right? I guess maybe it is tight knit, but it's it's chunky. So what is that? Anyways, just a super cute sweater. And I got that at my local Goodwill. Found this at the bins. I actually looked at it and I thought, oh, it's, I don't want to get anything summer right now. And then I seen the tag and I saw it was Talbot's. So it's brand new with tag Talbot's with that cute embroidery, the little tassel, little chambray denim top. We have a little bit of side slits, a little bit of detail on the back too. So I grabbed that up being at the bins. Next item I also got at the bins, and it is this beautiful plus size kimono jacket. It probably could have been a robe at one time, but there's no, like anywhere where a belt would have been, it's not there. So I think it just might be like a, a, a like a kimono jacket, like bohemian. Oh my gosh, it's satin, it has pockets. It is stunning. And the name brand on this is Solange Satin. So you guys tell me, is that possibly a robe? We don't care though. And it's a size 22 to 28. So a one size plus size. Okay, the next thing my husband found, and he was so thrilled because he thought, well, this person is famous. That's gotta be worth like millions, right? It's a Donald Trump tie. I gave it to him, I bought it. We'll see how it does. I think I've sold two ties in my entire reselling career. I find all kinds of nice ones, pretty ones, but they just don't sell for me. I don't know if they sell for you guys, but they don't sell for me. So I got this at the bins. It's Chico size one. I'm not sure what size that is, as I never know. I just liked it because it's lightweight. It's a cream and tan or brown, I mean. And it has this like very geometric, kind of almost Southwestern, bohemian, uh, minimalist, not minimalist, I'm sorry, like a mod type of print retro. So it has a lot of good keywords. So I thought there would, that would fit a lot of different people's styles and maybe somebody would just love this little lightweight blazer. Next thing I also got at the bins, it's Classic Elements Vintage Sweater in a size 24, 26 wide. What is really unique about this sweater, it's a zipper front, but for cold weather, this cow neck can come unbuttoned or you can button it up and it doesn't show the buttons on the outside. So it's a nice, you know, boxy fit. It has pockets. It is a cotton sweater in this pretty, pretty mint green collar. Perfect for like going into spring as well, but it is definitely a winter sweater. So it keeps you nice and warm. As I found this at my local Goodwill. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, it is so 
so soft. So it's this faux micro suede with that metallic, like, barnacle, really kind of like vining print. It's soft surroundings, and boy, is it soft. And it's a 3X, an excellent find, in my opinion. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, the next thing I found at the Goodwill Bins, and I picked this up sparingly. I felt like this was a special enough of a piece. It is Bob Mackie. There's a following for Bob Mackie. If it's silk, if it's very, I don't know, there's gotta be something about it. And there's, I picked this up sometimes and it's a miss and I ended up redonating. But I think this one will sell. So it's a lightweight jacket, it has a zipper front, 100% silk, it has the tie here at the waist. Love, love, love the details on the cuffs and the front as well. It's like a very Western Bohemian look. And you guys, this is a size large. Okay, I picked this up at my local Goodwill. Um, I don't know if you guys know the Stevie Fit Old Navy uh, leggings. They're super thick. They're perfect for like school, uh, work. So they're very acceptable because they're not gonna be see-through. They're nice, thick, good quality pants. And I pick these up every time because I sell them every time. And these are a, looking for the size, it's in a weird place for these pants. Size large, so also a good size. So these are gonna be like a skinny pant, which looks great with boots, you guys. Looks great with boots, especially the knee-high boots. So I got this at the bins. It is new, dead stock with, with the tag. Karen Scott, like a lightweight little cream ribbed sweater vest and a real boxy lagging look fit it's a size 2x this was in my inventory i guess somebody may have bought it on ebay and it fell off and i done my inventory and found it i'm gonna put it back up you guys it's a super stretchy dolman sleeve cable engage 100 silk sweater it's a very lightweight sweater it has all that beautiful shimmer in it i just think it'd be really pretty for like a new year's eve or just an evening out this floored me when I found this at my local Goodwill. I'm not local Goodwill, I'm sorry, at the Bins, at the Bins even, Everlane, and up. Uh, it is this year Everlane, or I should say within the last year Everlane. It probably is 2021. But it is a really nice and great condition. I did need to steam it, probably need to steam it again. It was very wrinkly. Maybe that's why no one picked it up and the fact it looks just like a basic. But when I was shuffling, I felt it and I'm like, oh, that feels like quality. So I looked at the tag and it was Everlane. It's a size large. Okay, another Ben's pickup. Look at this perfect, oh my gosh. I don't even wanna say it, but Bill Cosby, but grandpa sweater. Um, immediately that's what those sweaters remind me of that I'm like, I can't like him no more. Okay, so it has like this beautiful plaid, real forest green, a real deep red. It does have a little bit of wear, like the balling. I don't know if I can show you guys. Yeah, you see that like along the sleeve? We don't care, we don't care. This is comfy, cozy, uh, vintage JT Beckett. It is a men's size large, so it would definitely fit a women's extra large. And I love that sweater. Okay, this is a local Goodwill find. And it is a super cute, I always buy these things with the, the tight knit sweaters, if they're in perfect condition, okay? If they're not a name brand, perfect condition, I buy them because they sell. This one will especially sell because it's a Torrid. It's a Torrid size zero. I'm not sure what size that is, to be honest with you. It looks like it's either a large or an extra large, in my opinion, depending on whether you want it to fit tight or loose. Okay, I got this at my local Goodwill. And it is because it is a very substantial, very nice quality Eddie Bauer at Leisure Jacket. We have the thumb holes. It's open front and this heathered kind of gray that almost has a hint of blue as well. It's long. It's an excellent condition. It's size medium women's. This was a Ben's fine. I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. It's locked. So it's loft one size, but look at it. Not on a big enough hanger to show you guys properly. So it's a nice boxy fit, slouchy. See how it kind of like, on, even on the hanger, it hangs slouchy on you. And it's gonna be so, so soft. It almost fits like a poncho. This is a real dolman sleeve, right? So look at this. That's actually like, probably like a cropped long sleeve. I love the pumpkin orange, the gray. 
the kind of creamy oatmeal. It's just super soft and super comfy cozy. Let me look real quick and see what the fabric is in this. Oh yeah, that's right, it was cut out. It feels like this might have a little bit of wool in it. I always notate that and say, hey, size tag is gone, possibility of wool, because there's some people that's allergic. You guys, I found this at my local Goodwill. It is established 1946, which is a mall brand, size 26, 28. It is brand new with tag. Once again, can you tell I love the sequins? I mean, I love to see other people wear it. I don't necessarily wear it, maybe on a very special occasion, but this is jersey knit, like a real light, light, light sweater, the black is. Then this is gold metallic. Oh my goodness, date night, New Year's Eve, evening, special occasion, cruises, all those things that'd be perfect for. And it's new with that. Okay. This was a Goodwill Benz find. And my husband's like, oh my gosh, I feel like that I see you get those constantly. <laughs> I do. So this is really popular, especially in uh, about the beginning of December. The houndstooth red and black print. Honestly, if it goes past the end of December, I don't normally sell them again until the next year. Just like as a little tidbit of information. We have a little button on the cuff. It does have some shoulder pads. It is vintage Jessica Holbrook. It's a wool blend and it's a size 12. Here's another Ben's find. This was Free People Movement. And it's just a super cute ballet core style top. It is netted. It is like not super soft netting. It does have I need a, like a scoop neck. Okay, and it is has some fraying. I do believe that is intentional because it's free people. We have the knotted front. <laughs> I go with my light again. Knotted front that is super long, super cute. And as usual, oh, I told you guys this is free people. I fib to you. I picked up one just like a lot like it. It is not. This is truly madly deeply, and it's a size large. And I got it because of this knot and the ballet core fill. You guys, I already sold these. But they're right here, and I need to set them aside so I don't freak out thinking I lost them. So this is Love Fire. They are pleather pants in a size extra large. Oh, just sold something on eBay. Can't be mad about that. Okay, so it's faux leather pants in a size extra large, but if I put in there. To me, these are more like a large. It might be a Junior's brand, or I don't really know Love Fire. But either that or these are going to cinch you the heck in. I couldn't fit my extra large button in these, so I did notate that. And I always notate those things in the listing. Says extra large, fits more light. Measurements are in photos and description below. Pick this up at the bins. I thought it was super cute. Like a rockabilly tattoo style, old school tattoo halter top. Um, the brand name is gone. Does anybody know what just has a black tag? Um, I did try to look it up. I didn't find anything. I don't even care. I have no doubt it will sell just from cuteness alone. Okay, another Ben's fine. I'd only pick this up like at the Ben's or somewhere like that. So it's this very Barbie core, retro vintage, probably would sell better on Depop. It's a little nighty is what it is, the top part of a nighty, but people would definitely wear this today as a top. Love the ivory lace detail, the deep v-neck, the halter. It's open on back. It probably cost 25 cents at the Ben's. And it was pretty, so I grabbed it. Hopefully somebody will bundle. That's what I think of when I get things like that. Hopefully they'll bundle. Okay, so this is super cute. I got this at my local Goodwill. I always look at the belt. It is a metallic gold braided. We have the gold chain that hangs down, so it is adjustable, okay? Probably for a size extra small to a size large. I sell a lot of belts on Macari, you guys. And two more things. I got both of these at my local Goodwill. I got this because of this reason only. It, first of all, the shape of the bag. It is vintage, but it's this gigantic lobster clasp. It's Kato, the brand Kato. It's a faux leather. It has like a real slender pocket on the front and then like a lot of room actually in the inside. It's in excellent condition. I wouldn't pick this up if there's any fraying and I really look because purses can fool you. I really look, I go slow and I kind of look at all the corners. I look for any kind of especially like pilling because faux leather is notorious for that and it's in great condition. And this right here will sell that purse, that lobster clasp. This I also got at my local Goodwill. 
and it is a travel bag, so right? It has wheels on it. It'd be great for a school teacher too. So it's a retro Route 66 tapestry style bag. It's super long. I do believe that you can also carry it like this if you're not wanting to, um, you know, use it for the wheels. The wheels work excellent. There's adjustable straps. Everything is good condition. I'm not sure what this is for, you guys. Anybody know? I don't have a clue. Maybe to hang it up in your closet? The heck if I know. But that is my haul for this week. All this stuff is gonna be in my first dibs auction if it doesn't sell before then on Friday, okay? And today is November 14th, so whatever the date would be on that Friday. Come and see me, you guys, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a show every Wednesday and Friday as long as I can and the life doesn't get in the way. And I start everything off at 50% off my asking price. So the price might be 50% off, or there might be a little bit of a bidding war. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed my hauls, and I hope I am giving you a little bit of entertainment. Have a good day. Bye-bye.